Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I am at the one week mark of having installed three nukes here in three separate hives. So I'm going to do a one week inspection now. And what I'm going to do is uh, inspect particularly hive number one. That's the furthest one there on the left. Uh, because I didn't find the queen the first time around. I find the, found the queen in the other two hives. The hive looks like it's very active and very well organized, so I have no doubt the queen's there. I'll just uh, have a look for her. And I'm also going to uncheckerboard the nukes that are the frames that I put in. So I put them in every alternating frame. I had four frame nukes from those boxes there that I put in and I staggered them with existing frames of honey and uh, and drawn out comb that I had and a person made a comment that I think is very prudent. She said that uh, it's probably not be not good to checkerboard them if you're expecting some cold weather because they might have difficulty with that small number of bees coming in on those no new nukes. You might have difficulty with the bees keeping the brood warm if the temperature is plunged. Now it's 29 degrees, it's a beautiful spring day here in Markham, Ontario. But uh, that makes it around 70, 79 degrees actually uh, in Fahrenheit. But the next five days we're supposed to get rain and temperatures down in the low to mid teens which puts them in the low 60s. So I'm going to heed her advice and reorganize those brood frames that I put in from the nukes and put them in the center of the hive so it's easier for them to cluster and keep them warm. So here we go, uh, we'll get set up here and we'll see how she goes. Okay, so we'll start here with hive number one. It's very active. I will smoke it a little bit. Just give it a middle minute to settle in and then uh, one thing I'm going to do more of this year is check the, uh, the telescoping lids, uh, lid. I never did that last year to see if a queen might be there, that type of thing. So it's always good to look at and there's a little spider getting ready to hatch there in the corner. Can you see that okay? So I'll get rid of that. Hive tool. It's better with the hive tool. Looks really good. They've built up a lot of comb. That's all just burr comb coming up from their from their frames up. There's a lot of bee activity. Looks like a lot of young bees, so they might have hatched some of the brood that was uh, that was in there from the nukes. That's a very good sign. You see there's a lot of bees happening there, so... Let's see, I think I'm going to start from the outside frame here. I'm going to give them a bit more smoke just to bring them off the top. And now I did leave them with a lot of honey and a lot of drawn out comb from my hives that died last year. So they should be, they should have a little relative head start here. Now we are going to look for the queen as well. Now this frame is all nectar. Look at that, eh? Just looks wonderful, as you would expect an outside frame to be. And here we've got some capped honey, a lot of nectar. Okay, so keep this one outside so that I've got some room to work with. And then we'll just have a look at the frames here. There are a lot of bees in here, so that's a very good sign. Looks like some of the brood has hatched. But what I'd really love to see is uh, new brood, new eggs, and of course a very happy, very busy queen bee. Some good drones on this, on this frame here. As you can see, lots of pollen and honey on the outside. And this is one of the frames that came in from the nuke. 
So this one doesn't have any brood in it, so I'm not too concerned about that being on the inside. And this side is the same. Lots of, uh, lots of nectar. Some pollen. I don't see a queen and I don't see any brood, so those two first frames are perfectly fine being on the outside. Here's another pollen frame with honey on the outside. No brood on this one either. No queen that I can see. Again, this one. This is probably recently hatched. This was a brood frame. And you can see it is completely empty. They've done a fantastic job of cleaning that out. So there's no brood in here, but this frame is probably being ready for the queen to lay in. This is the type of frame where you might see the queen. And you're hoping that if she's going to do a good pattern, she's going to start laying from the inside and work her way out. Still don't see a queen looking bee, so we'll keep going. Very happy with how the hive looks so far. Oops, get some rid of some of this burr comb. Get open like that. It just kind of gets in the way. Okay, so this is a current frame of comb. And I'm looking for supersedure cells as well, or um, swarm cells. There are quite a few drawn out cells, but they don't look like swarm cells to me. And there's brood in the, in the center there, so it looks like this might be a a frame where the queen might be laying around the outside. So I'm going to have a close look at this for the queen. And for some eggs. Okay, I do see eggs here. And some larva as well. Yeah, there's uh, some maturing larva here. Let's see if you can see the eggs that I've seen. You can certainly see the larva easy enough. But the eggs are a little more difficult to see. I don't see the queen on this side, but maybe she will be on the other side. So here's another nice brood frame. You can see some drones, you can see some bees with pollen coming in. And again, this is the type of frame where you're going to see eggs on the outside of that brood. And then the queen might be working. I wonder what that one bee is trailing. You see how the one bee there looks like she's got like a big hunk of pollen behind her? You see her? I wonder what that is. If you know, let me know. Yeah, I see some eggs here too. So that's great. The queen is in here and she's laying. There are some extended cells as well that you can see there. 
at the top. They look like brood comb or they might be uh, brood cells or there might be something else. Or, so, sorry, there's some uh, drone cone is what I mean. Drone cells. Some more at the bottom corner here. This frame looks good. I'm going to orient it the way it was before I touched it and put it back in. So, that's the first frame with brood on it, and it would be the fourth frame in. So it's pretty much, you know, in the middle of the hive. So I'm not going to change the order. I'm not going to uncheckerboard them, at least not from that side, because the brood is towards the center of the frame, which is what we're, what, the center of the box, which is what we're hoping for. So this is all just drawn out comb. Still don't see a queen here. There obviously is a queen in here and she's doing well. That's why my, my primary mission today was to see eggs. But uh, since it's been a week since I've had them in. But it's always fun to see the queen. Who doesn't want to see a queen? So there's a lot of activity here. So I might just blow some of the bees away so I can have a look at whether she might be laying here on this side as well. It's mostly pollen, pollen and nectar on this side. And I do not see the queen here. All right, get to go on. So far, these bees are behaving themselves. They're not too concerned about what I'm doing, which is always a great sign. They are fairly calm. Bees I had last year were pretty good too, but they had their moments where they just did not want me bothering them. And I took a lot of things, basically, because I uh, would let my guard down after a few weeks and not wear protection. I do not know how you beekeepers that don't wear gloves and don't wear veils and stuff, how you do it, but I'm very uh, appreciative of what it takes to get that done. So another brood comb here, which is looking really nice. Um, again, the queen could be on the outsides of this, just laying, but uh, I do not see her. Take a look at this side. It's the same. It's fairly nicely, uh, nicely filled with comb, or sorry, with uh, with brood. Very young small bees. You see the one at the bottom there? Those have just hatched a few days ago. So uh, they're already working. So here now we're getting again into the frames that are just just comb and they're just drawing those out. So I really don't expect to see the queen out here but I'll have a look for her anyway. Same here, they're drawing this one out and filling it with, uh, with nectar. Quite nicely. So this hive has multiplied quite a bit. There are many more bees in here than there were a week ago. So they've hatched out at least two of those frames. And this one feels really light too. So they may have hatched out three frames of brood already. Now this cell, this cell here in the middle is a cell that they are preparing for the use of a queen. So it doesn't have anything in it, it's empty, but they're kind of drawing that out in case they need a queen cell. So I'm going to leave that be. So it's If it were a full out blown swarm cell, I might get rid of it, but it doesn't look like they're actually going to use that or they actually are using that to form a new queen. I'm going to give them another shot of smoke now. They're starting to get a little more agitated. I try not to smoke them much. Some people say I smoke them too much. Some people smoke them a lot more than I do, but. Obviously you want to do as, as little of an intrusion in their lives as possible. 
considering we're kind of running their lives. Yeah. But uh, want to take it easy on them. So here's a, what's going to be a nice honey or brood comb. Honey on the outside. Looks like they've removed a lot of the honey. So they're moving stuff around to accommodate it where they want it to be. It looks like they're putting pollen and nectar on the on the inside of this comb too, on the, the inside of this frame as well. Okay, so I'll check out one more and I'll put it back together. Like I said, I was going to change the checkerboarding pattern, but I'm not going to now because the only brood they have is together in two frames near the middle anyway, so that's pretty good. So this is a full honey frame. And they have had at it, so they're moving this honey around or, or consuming it because it's been a fairly cool week since they've been here. We've had a lot of rain. We've had a couple of days of rain for sure. So it looks like they're doing well by that honey. Okay, so we'll put this together. Did not find the queen again, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It's not what it's all about. I'll just get this back together. I'll do a more brief inspection on the other two hives. Just again to look and see, make sure that they're there's a good number of bees and that they're going to be able to keep their brood warm and that'll be it for the week one inspection on 4D Honeybee. I hate squishing bees. Makes me sad. 